Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be covering key maps and the idea of uh, instrument mappings for unpitched instruments. So we're going to go ahead and slide on down from the room apart and leave that guy for a while. And we're actually going to be working with the, the concert band uh, instrument in this particular lesson. So let's go ahead and select it there. I'm going to hit 3 on my keypad to choose eighth notes. Now on the MIDI keyboard, I'm going to enter the uh, the keys that correspond with my tempo block sounds. I'm just going to write something that kind of mirrors the marimba up there. So as you can see, uh, even though I pressed uh, this uh, C, uh, a D flat, E, an E flat, and an E mapped on the higher end of the keyboard, I actually had them mapped on the E, G, B, D. Uh, F and back down again uh, staves or lines rather on this instrument and that's because those particular sounds are mapped to those notes on the keyboard and whenever I enter them with the MIDI keyboard in Sibelius it knows that if I press that particular C that needs to put it on this staff with this note head um, so I can kind of show you where you could find that information um, this is up on the window uh, menu part properties you can see here that the, it's saying that that's the one note head. So if I come back over and select this one, this is also the one note head. I can use my arrows on the keyboard, uh, computer keyboard that is, to cycle on through there. So you see those all actually have the same note head, uh, but if I changed it to another one, uh, it would possibly get another sound. Uh, but we're going to cover that in the next lesson. So that's it for this lesson. In the next one, we'll actually be covering how to change note heads using your mouse and uh, the computer keyboard. So. See you next time.